Hello and welcome back to another Academy Bytes. Zetrot here, and today we're going to show you how to make star patterns in the editor. As the name suggests, a star pattern is a star-shaped pattern of notes. There are quite a few ways to make these, so let's go over a few ways to create star patterns. So let's go ahead and hop into the editor. I already have a preset difficulty with some star patterns that I'm going to show you guys right off the bat. Then we'll go over making some of our own. So now that we're in the editor, we'll get to our first star formation. This is a simple five point star um, using a star formation as well from one, two, three, four, and five. As you can see, all the points cross over each other, making it a star pattern. Um, then we have a reversed one over here, as you can see. Now let's go ahead and move a little bit further through the map and we will take a look then we have a little bit of a larger pattern here. As you can see, the spacing can change. Um, same initial pattern as the first two. Very simple. And then I'm going to show a six point star pattern right here. As you can see, it starts off just like the other ones from one to two to three to four. And then we have a six, which is a repeat slider for our sixth point. All right, as you can see that, we're gonna go ahead and let this play through so you can see um, Autoplay, go through the motions of the star patterns in just a second. This time when I just Alright, and as you can see, those are star patterns in action. Now let's actually get to making some of our own. The first way I'll show you to make a star pattern, we're going to use the Create Polygon Circle tool. As you can see here, I'm setting my points. We're going to do a five point star pattern here, and I'm going to adjust the offset angle to allow it to snap to the center grid axis. We'll use three as our guide. Now that that's all set up, we have our star pattern. Now, obviously there is one problem. The star formation is not there. So now instead of moving each one of these notes individually, Let's go ahead and use the shortcut Control G to reverse selection. And as you can see here, I'm going to reverse the highlighted notes that I pick Circles. in order to get the star formation shape that we're looking for. We'll go ahead and reverse the selection of three and five here. And then, boom. As you can see, we do have ourselves a star pattern. Oh, I did Circles. forget four and five. Let's switch those real quick. Sorry about that. Now that we've got that switched, we do have a full-fledged star pattern, not having to move any notes using just the editor and the shortcuts that we have. As you can see, that is very simple, makes making star patterns so much easier than you normally would. Now, there are all kinds of different ways. The first star patterns we saw in this map were actually made manually um, without the help of the editor. but this is a very easy way to do it. It saves you a lot of time, a lot of hassle. And now we're going to go ahead and make another star pattern here. But this star pattern is just going to have the shape. The formation is not going to be there as much. And I'll explain why as I'm making it. See, we'll start out with your basic star pattern. One, two, three, four, five, five points. That's what we're going to use. Um, but let's go ahead and adjust it here now. As you can see, the it will no longer be a star pattern because three and four are adjacent to each other and they're not actually crossing over even though the shape is the exact same. So we have the pattern format, but the way it plays is not in a star formation. As you can see here, I will let it play for a second so you can see it is pretty clear, but the star formation is not there though this is a good pattern and a great way to trip people up. All right, and as you can see, even though the shape is the same, the formation and how it plays is different. The follow points are a little bit different here. I'm showing you a side by side. As you can see, it's almost the exact same shape, but changing how it works internally from what note goes to what will change all kinds of things. So that being said, let's go ahead and create a six point star pattern Circles. using the create polygon tool. Um, it'll be pretty close to the same way we did it before. Uh, let's go ahead and line up six and nine on our center axis. That way we've got a little bit of work here. 
Um, go ahead and change that six to a new combo. Give me one second here. There we go. Now it's a whole different color. Makes it a little bit easier. Now we just uh, use our shortcut to go ahead and change the order of these notes without moving them, just like we did before. And as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and switch Charles. those. Now, remember to make sure that it is following the star pattern here. I make a mistake and I switch the things a little bit and that's not going to work. So let me go ahead and adjust this properly. We need to take three and six, go ahead and swap their positions with control G, then go ahead and take four Circle. and three, no four and six, switch those positions. And as you can see, we are starting to get our six point star um, design. And last but not least, real quick, just to show you how to rotate star patterns, you can highlight all your notes as I'm doing here, and you can use our lovely rotate by function here in the editor that will allow you to adjust the angle of the star pattern however you want it to. And with that, thank you so much for looking at star patterns with us today. We hope you enjoyed this look into star patterns. If you have a pattern you'd like to see covered in the next episode, give me a shout out either via forum PM or at my email, ztrot at ppy.sh. I look forward to your ideas, and remember, rhythm is only a click away, and we'll see you next time.